good morning guys um i'll show you what i'm doing at the moment okay this is where i'm digging okay you can see the granite jumps up here okay so i'm getting stone coming out of this area too and uh also down here but this is an old old digging so i can't dig that way because there's nothing there and uh so i'll be digging this area out which hopefully has some pretties and we'll see how it goes and of course i'm taking the roof too but look if you're wondering why i'm not digging the opposite way is because simply it's been dug out okay that's the stuff i'm, I'm chucking back and um yeah that's all old diggings so no use digging that way because it's all been dug out so anyhow but uh, onwards is my border anyhow so it doesn't matter so now one of the subscribers has asked me to show around the mine a little bit um okay i'll give you a quick rundown this is where i left off this is um all the stuff that i'm digging okay over here is where i've also dug this way I dug here, I got very beautiful stones here. So I dug this way, and uh, there was all beautiful stones here. And they also piled up this way, that's why that was dug out like that. There's uh, all beautiful stones again. So in this area here too, there should be still more stones along here, because they came out of there, so they'll be down here too. Now. Also, in this area here, um, I'm using this as a backfill, but this pillar here, of course, has sapphire in it. But it's a pillar at the moment until I decide to open cut. Now, same as this pillar here, is another one that has plenty of sapphire in it. Again, until I open cut this whole area too, that over there as well. And this area here, this pillar here as well, has got sapphire in it again until I do open cut. Now, this is all backfill underneath here. Look at that. You can see I've chucked dirt. So I'm about four, four, four feet higher than the actual floor. So the actual floor jumps up here. Okay, and you'll see there's the granite there. Okay, that's the granite floor. It peaks right up. And there's the wash. Now, this has got sapphire in it, of course, as well. Okay, that's, again, until it's open cut. That has got sapphire in it as well. Again, can't take it until it's open cut because now they are just pillars left. Here, the wash fins right out. And, um... I'm not a lover of digging empty ground, so I don't know what's behind there. Obviously, it's got to peak up and then drop back down. So on the drop back down part is where the sapphire would be. Okay, so that would be a very interesting area to go through. Over here again, okay, these are little pillars, okay, with sapphire in it. And same as this area, it pops back in over that way. Okay, so this peak of granite rises right up. So behind it would be a really good patch. Now, if you guys remember that, I will show you the other side. Okay, now here I dug. Now this floor goes down another four feet at least. Okay, so... And I was getting some sapphires there and I wanted to break through that way. But then I went higher and found this layer here. This layer here, which is also very rich with sapphire. And I plucked out a lot of sapphire here, which was above my head. So that's why I lifted the floor up. And in turn, got this area here. And again, I can't take this until I open cut it. Okay, this area here, which is also got plenty of sapphire in it. Okay, now this is my pathway. Again, this is about five feet of fill underneath. Okay, so 
I never got to see what was above until I started digging higher up and thought there was a sand layer and I thought I want to get rid of that sand and have a look what's above it because the wires were telling me there's sapphire here. And of course, as soon as I dug above, I found a new wash and it was green like this and it was also loaded with sapphire. Now again, this here, I used to dig here, see this little spot here, I dug out by hand and I was, sapphires were popping out, okay, um, in there. So, yeah, there's still plenty of sapphire right in this line here, okay. Uh, I mean, you're talking about chunks of sapphire that was 60 carat. I was getting heaps and heaps of 20 carat size clears here. But I had to stop because this is a major pillar again, okay? And this layer continues and goes through to the other side, okay? Also, beautiful sapphires. Now the sapphires, okay, now here we're about six foot deep down, okay? And I dug them all the way up. I was getting 20 carat sapphires all the way up. See that up there? Okay, all that. All this wash here, up there, that wash there has got sapphire in it. And I was, you know, there was billies, big billies, and I was dropping them. See, there's a billy there, okay? Now, that would hurt if it fell on your head, but it's still solid ground, okay? And, um, yeah, so this layer here continues. That's the layer down there, continues here. It was all beautiful green, and, uh, yeah, sapphires galore, yep. Just amazing stuff. Okay, I'm just looking if I could see one to show you guys, but uh, I doubt it. See that nice there? That is beautiful. Look at that ironstone, riddled with ironstone. It's just traces, just shows you that, you know, it's sapphire ridden. Now, th these are the things that you, uh, look how high that goes up. Okay, that layer. That layer continues through into that way right now that's a future layer that can be taken out and that's way above there's more layers up higher that i believe still yield plenty of sapphire okay now that's just an ordinary wash as you can see but here it thickened up and had beautiful sapphires in it okay that's why i was doing that and i was still getting sapphires out of the high wash but i never hit a billy run i was waiting to hit a billy run the billy run here is in there and there's plenty of sapphires there now here i went up higher and i got sapphires got plenty of sapphires again and what i'm doing here is backfilling and creating a floor so i can drop this whole roof but yeah we'll see how it goes I only have two hands and only one life. I do want to do other stuff as well. So, yeah, take it as it comes. I do want to do an open cut though, but in the shallow ground to start. Now, all this, this pillar here is, yeah, plenty of sapphire in it, all the way to the floor. Again, this is about four feet of fill here, as well as uh, here it rises up a bit, but here it's deeper. This pillar here, all the way through has sapphire in it there's not much of a pillar left because the sapphire was really good okay and um that pillar there too again has got plenty of sapphire in it and they're large sapphires here because this is now the original bottom floor okay nothing unusual to find a hundred carat dud here okay so yeah so not much left but there's still plenty that's the thing over here Beautiful, beautiful stones here. Again, left off there, you know, and uh, this pillar, definitely plenty of sapphire. And all the way up, that's the thing. It goes all the way up, all this, you know, uh, sapphire-rich ground. This one, full, full pillar. You, you'd be taking the full pillar out as well as that. And that whole area there, you, you, you have to do searching up higher which I never done over there but okay there's the ground there that that's floor over that way where the bucket is now she rises if you can have a look all the way up there now there's about six foot at least six to 
six to ten feet difference between down here and up there okay now we'll have a look over here see there's your floor that's floor that's granite okay that's how high she jumps up that's all granite floor all beautiful beautiful sapphires here now i'll show you where i was digging over there last time on video um and I came close, but I stopped because I got tired of not getting too much. Now, this is the area that I have to continue once I finish that spot. Now, this is the area where I said the other side where the granite jumps up. And I believe this here, right, I will come to a, to a drop off there and then it's going to jump up and that's where the sapphires and it's going to be a big line of them there and behind here so th this is the next dig i'll do after i finish down the bottom down there and come back into here and drop see there's billies up top again not there wasn't too much sapphire coming out of here but originally when i dug i followed a trail of sapphires here which were really pretty and nice that's the opening to get the air out and over here this is my shallow ground see this ridge here this was a ridge this is the granite okay now I followed a ridge of billies all the way here all the way all the way to here okay they were peaked like that okay a peak of billies and it was littered with sapphire, not littered, I mean, but there was plenty. Yeah, I mean, you would dig and you would speck one. That's it, continuously. And they were just the most beautiful sapphires out. They were such beautiful crystal. But not very big. Up, up to about 14 carat, that's it. That's the about the largest in this spot here. But there was plenty of them and plenty of dog's tooths and everything like that. Now I dug a lot of areas here. Over here I got blue on blues. Over 20 carat sizes here in a patch. Okay, and uh, more sapphires this way. Now this is my shallow ground and this is the area that I'm going to open cut properly. And, and then take out all these pockets. So because this area runs in pockets, in, in pockets, and uh, they're the pockets you want to take out because one of these pockets could yield uh, a couple kilos of sapphire and very comfortably. I've, 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 I've heard other people get plenty of kilos in one spot. So, you know. This is what I'm looking for as well. I have found them. Um, the best I found was down here in one spot was one kilo of um, clear sapphires here, right here. Right next to my tunnel that I did, I dug over here. Uh, the wires told me to dig this way and I dug that way and it was just littered with sapphire. I got a kilo of cutters and plus whatever i don't know a kilo at least of duds here uh 1450 carats of zircons in one spot yeah uh that's that's the best in in one pulsator <laughs> that's you know but i had other areas over this way where i got a lot of sapphire i don't know i never kept weights that's the thing but it was just continuous every day so okay that's a little tour of my mind, okay? It's only a short tour, but um, it's a tour, okay, guys? So I hope that explains some of the stuff for you guys. I've got to get back to digging and do do a, a dig so you guys get to see what I get, okay, later. Sorry about that. Um, okay, guys. Um, since I can't find Sapphire Specky um, at the moment, I'll show you a spinel. Okay, if you have a look here. Okay, this is where I'm digging. Okay, right there. That's a spinel right there. Okay, 
shine the bright light there we go okay right there is a spinel now what I what I'm going to show you is that it's got a green layer if you can see that I don't know might, the torch might be too bright no it shouldn't be but anyhow there's a green layer and I believe that's arsenic over the top of the spinel now they come usually encased not all the time but they are usually encased now I'll pop that one out okay and we'll have a look at it okay so see how it left the green look see that it's all green that's what I believe now you know and when you clean it of course the arsenic comes off so there's a spinel okay and um, yeah thought I'd show you a, a spinel in the wash okay now that's higher so this is a, of course as you know okay getting sapphires here so um, we'll see how it ends up in the wash okay so I'll drop him back in there that's it he can find his way into the pulsator but this is the dirt it looks good okay and of course it's good when you see spinels it's better when you see sapphire <laughs> but um i'll be happy with just a spinel to show you guys because i'm i'm not having any luck in specking sapphires much at all whereas in the other area i could see them here i'm not okay but anyhow it is what it is so i'll see you guys when i finish this unless i spec one Bye. Okay, a quick tour off the wash part. How she's running. The usual up the conveyor. Through the trommel. Into the pulsator. Pulsating away. I've got to clean the tubs out tomorrow. They're chock a block full of sediment. And uh, actually, at the same time, I might move some of this dirt, get it back to uh, back here. Yeah. Okay, there she is. Okay, I'll be back with the wash. Bye for now. Moment of truth.
Okay, let's see how we go. There's a pretty one. Okay, see that? Little party. Very nice. Follow that. Oh. There's a chip of a dud. Spinel, spinel. Okay, it's a sapphire, but it's a dud. I like this nice rounded iron stone. That's a big uh, star. See that? Nice star sapphire. Yep, and she's solid too. No cracks in it. See that? Beautiful. Woohoo. That's a nice one. Would have been better if it was a clear. <laughs> Not worth anywhere close to a clear sapphire. Oh, yeah, okay, here's one. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, I'll have that. See? Okay. Not as good as what I thought initially, but still nice stone. This one. Yay, two. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Okay, this is a dud sapphire. And it really is a dud. There's no life in that one. Okay, I saw there's one. Two, two sapphires there. A little clear blue. Very nice. And a dud sapphire there. And a spinel here. 
and a little star sapphire, little one, and a piece of titanium you can chuck, another spinel. Oh, look at that. Spotted that one. Okay, here we have a very silky blue. Okay. Now that's partially clear. I can see for it there. That could turn out a blue star sapphire. So that with that blue silk, that could be a possible blue star. I say possible. There's no definite little dud sapphire. See that iron brown. Spinel. There's a little clear, little green clear, little blue clear. Look at that. Gee, they're pretty when they're small. <laughs> and we have a larger one, which is another star. Okay, more than likely, the star sapphire. Look at that, that's a little crystal, double terminated little crystal, small, cute, and a dud sapphire, and another dud sapphire, hiding, There's another sapphire that's... Oh, okay. This is another possible blue star. Okay. Have a look. See that? It's got that sheen. Yep. Very nice. There's a big spinel. That's large. Okay, let's have a look what we got. There's another sapphire, a little tiny one. Okay, there's another one and another one. Two sapphires there. Yeah. There's another one. Another sapphire. Little. Still sapphire. Okay, here we go. Last bit. What do we got? Spinel. Two little zircons, one there. Oh, there's a th third one. There's a zircon there too. And I did, there's the other one. Yeah, the tiny one. Okay. Titanium.
the little sapphire. Okay, last bit. There we go, there's a sapphire. Let's have a look at this one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice little blue. Not too dark. I'll be happy with that. Gotta be happy with that. I'm extremely happy this is a good day. Today, out of 11 Wilburys. That's a big... Okay, there's another Zerk. Little ones. Okay. Wow, got to be happy with that. That's a good day, extremely good day. Okay, guys, we'll have a better look inside. Be right back. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Wow, that's a fair bit. I'm, I'm a very happy chappy. Okay, 101 carrots. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. We're uh, sorting them out. Okay, here we go. 101 all together. And 68 carrots are possible. Woohoo! Pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back with um, the phone camera. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at this uh, star sapphire. Well, it's 20 carat, not bad. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the sheen. Okay, there it is there. See that bronze? There you go. Now you can see that bronze sheen. That That's what makes a good star. Okay, and that, that one there, that's starry material too. And the third one, Oh, the one next to it as well. Okay. That too is starry material. Let's have a look at these others. Okay, oh, that's the starry one. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's this one? Okay. And that's starry too. Okay, oh, it's this one I wanted to look at. That's right. This one here. Okay. Is that one needs a clean up so we can see it much better. And then we have this one too. That looks nice. That's nice. Not too dark. Very nice. And of course this one here. Little one. It's nice and clear. Very good. Okay, and that's our haul for today. I'll, I will be right back with some sapphire for sale. Bye for now. Okay, guys, thought I'd show you now. These are 25 bucks per carat. Okay, they're on my Facebook page. Um... They're three to four carat sizes. Every one's a cutter. Minimum order is um, okay. Here we go. Look, check this out. The gorgeous little stones, all pretty chunky. I mean, you know, they're not perfect shapes, of course. You know, we don't live in a perfect world. Okay, but they're beautiful little cutters. Every one of them. Okay, nice, clean, clear. So, yeah, 10 carats minimum. Okay, plus paste. Okay. That's what these ones are. They're all party colours. Okay, that's them there. Okay, and I'll just make a bag up. I'm not going to pick out, because that's not fair to anyone else. Okay, guys. So that's that, that's that little show. Now, we've got three special ones here for you as well. 
Okay. Now I'll show you what these ones are. All three are 50 bucks a carat. Okay. So the first one here is 4.9. So that one's around 250. Okay. Now check this out. Okay. These are super light cutters. Okay. This thing is not clear. Okay. Now you get to see what the stone is like. It's exceptional. These ones. Well, it just does not want to focus, does it? Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see it. Very light colours. Beautiful crystal, no cracks, no flaws. Okay. As you can see, this one will, will cut a trillion. Okay, this one. Next one is a gorgeous little blue. Okay, it's 4.3 carats, so that's about uh, 220. Now that is a um, gorgeous little blue. Okay, look at that. Look at that, super light. Look at that. Amazing stone. Okay, and the third one is a five carat stone. Okay, it's got a lot of yellow in it and a touch of blue, blue and green. That's the stone there. This stone will cut a trillion and a gorgeous one at that. Okay, let me just focus this in. There we go. Oh, this camera just does not want to focus. There we go. Look at that. That is just ultimate sapphire, gorgeous sapphire. That's it. Okay, guys, that's that's the lot for today. So fifty bucks a carat. Uh, I will put them out on Facebook. Um, yeah, later. But just get in touch with me through Facebook, and I'll reply straight away. So yeah, see you then. Um, by the way, like, share, subscribe. Bye for now, and God bless. Thank you all.